Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into the settings in visual settings, that is, of New World MMO. A lot of you guys are going to be struggling in New World with really just visual settings, because they're going to make your computer lag, you're going to be really running on those budget PCs or those laptops that you were hoping could run it, and they don't seem to be able to do so. So we're going to kind of, like I said, show you how to get the best FPS and the best performance while not really hindering on your experience altogether. So if you guys have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. Let's jump into the video. Alright guys, so today we are, like I said, going to be jumping through all of the visual settings you're going to want to make sure to actually utilize in New World MMO if you are really getting some problems with lag, you know, your computer's performance just isn't up to speed with some of these today's, uh, I guess, performance, like I am using right now a 3090 graphics card pretty fairly new uh, you know computer here and I do want to jump through some of my settings and then I'll talk about why you guys should be using certain settings and what you should have turned off what you'd have capped and what you know settings you can actually utilize at the you know full potential so we're gonna start off with the very very top of visual settings in New World we're gonna actually start with window mode so you're gonna want that full screen that's gonna be a pretty obvious one it's just gonna give you the best FPS performance then we're gonna go to resolution so I'm actually using a 1440p monitor most of you guys are probably not so keep that in mind and with that in mind go to a 1920 by 1080 if you are using a 1440p monitor you're going to know it and at that point you obviously select what I have a 2560 by 1440 and you obviously if you are using a 1440p monitor uh, you know there's going to be reasons that you're going to be having a little bit of lag there so if you are trying to just get that quality over you know just smoothness and fps you probably know how to fix it already if you're like i said have that 1440p monitor but i want to kind of help those people with those budget pcs so that's what we're going to focus on today so brightness contrast and field of view are all not related or unrelated i should say uh to really what it is of uh you know performance when it comes to new world these are all going to be perfect personal preferences when it comes to what you're seeing on your computer screen but the next thing we're going to want to focus on is the video quality so the preset quality of visuals in the game lower is obviously for that better performance and higher looks better in game higher may look better in game but obviously smoothness and fps is always going to be something i strive for over actually the looks of the in-game uh you know gameplay so i'm going to actually put this on custom and you guys, you can start with putting it on low first and you can change based on that. So we're gonna actually, like I said, we're gonna put mine on custom. I'm gonna start with the effect details and tell you guys where all of these should most likely be if you are struggling. Effect details, you can start with medium. This is going to be something that does cause some lag. So if you are having still problems after all of these settings I tell you to do, this may be one of the first ones to actually change to low because effects are not that big of a deal in this game. It is cool to see them, but at the same time, you don't need the best, you know, perform or it's not really performance, but quality when it comes to those effect details. It's not going to hinder your game experience too much. So effect details can go to low. I do want to go down to lightning or uh, lighting details, not lightning details, but lighting details. So the preset quality of lighting in the game, I kept mine at medium. Medium's a good spot for that. You are going to want some good lighting just so you don't have any, uh, you know, blurry experiences. I think that's going to take place a lot in some of these, you know, very, very cool areas of a turnum. We're also going to see object details. This is going to be one that you want to actually stick around that medium as well. Post-processing details. This is going to be one that you're definitely going to want medium. Uh, this is a very, very good, uh, really good performance wise to actually bring it down from high to medium. And it actually gives you what I tested a lot of FPS from doing so. As we continue farther down, we have the shadows. Shadow is going to be in pretty much every game. Uh, and something that you don't really need that does hinder your FPS and just really overall smoothness of the game's quality. So keep that at low. Obviously, there is an option for very high on some of these. And pretty much never are you going to want very high unless you're looking for literally the best of the best. And you can still run with, you know, solid FPS. We have terrain details next. This is going to be one I kept at medium. I like the terrain. Uh, in, in reality, it's not going to change too much from going from medium to low. Remember, guys, if you are struggling with any of these settings after I tell you what to do, make sure to just change all of these to extremely low, the very lowest setting. That will help you out the very, very most, but I am trying to give you quality and FPS smoothness at the same time. So terrain details, keeping that at medium. Texture details, medium as well. And we're also going to go to water details. So I could care less or couldn't care less, I guess, about the water details. So I'm going to keep that at low as well because 
really, what are you really benefiting from? Very high quality when it comes to water. Not much. Keeping that at low. Uh, even for myself, when I play the game, I keep that at low. We have show FPS. You're going to want that on just so that you can really monitor what your computer is running at FPS wise. You're going to see some stuttering possibly, and you're going to want to know what your FPS is at when you see that. We also have VSync. VSync, you are going to want off for a majority of you guys running these budget PCs and possibly even laptops. VSync is going to be something that does slow it down and the smoothness will not really be there because it limits the frame rate to monitor refresh setting and uh, you know, or it's the setting that actually uh, you are going to, like I said, want off. If you want to try or test this, you can turn it on and see the difference. Uh, obviously, it doesn't hurt to test things. So VSync though, or I would, you know, say a majority of you are going to want off. Max FPS is going to be something you guys are not going to want uncapped. I keep mine uncapped, obviously, like I said, running a 3090 graphics card. But if you guys are running on those budget PCs and laptops, 60 FPS is going to be the initial cap. If you are struggling to even hit 60 FPS, you can go down to 30. I would suggest 60 as the FPS cap. And if you are struggling to even hit 30 FPS, then you can go down to 30. But like I said, for the most part, most of you should be able to get close to 60 FPS, hopefully. Uh, as we move forward, we are going to have player nameplate amount. So increase or decrease the amount of nameplates shown on the screen. Warning, high amounts of nameplates can severely affect frame rate. This is absolutely huge. So if you have the setting above 10 right now, that's 100% what's causing your problem. You are going to want to bring this down to about 5, most of you. Uh, I keep mine around 10 uh, just because, like I said, my computer can handle it. But this can actually go all the way up to 100. If you had 100 on your screen, I can only imagine what your computer's thinking. Uh, definitely, like I said, keep that around 5 to 10, 10 being the higher side of things. Uh, we also have the cap FPS in background. This is going to be an obvious. You want this on. There's no reason to have the background of the game when you're loading on to the main menu, uh, really making your you know computer struggle or making your computer even work hard at all. There's literally no reason. So cap the FPS in the background. Um, this will just, like I said, limit frame rate while minimized or unfocused. We also have the dynamic resolution scaling. I have mine turned on. This is another one kind of like VSync that you can kind of test on and off and see what the difference is. But most of you, like I said, are going to want on for that maximum smoothness and FPS. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, if none of this you know really helps you at all, let me know in the comments. I am trying to help you guys as much as possible. I want everyone to be able to play this game. I love this game so much, and I think you guys should appreciate and uh, you know be able to enjoy it as much as me. So if you guys have any, like I said, questions, comments, let me know in the comment section down below. If this helped you, helped your, uh, I guess you at all, you know, gain even a little bit of FPS, definitely let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in a turn -em. And uh, thank you guys again for tuning in.